today's episode of Daily Musings. I'm Alicia. This is just a quick one because I wanted to float an idea by you guys, something that I'm going to be experimenting with. So the whole thing with Daily Musings is in the title. It's that I like doing daily videos of just whatever I'm thinking about, what I'm reading about, the things that are um, coming to my head as ideas. And um, yeah, I, I always have a million ideas. So it's mostly quite easy to come up with ideas to share with you because I'm generally overflowing with ideas to share. But I'm curious about exploring the polar opposite model. And I don't know if it's going to be a good idea or if it's going to be a terrible idea, but I want to explore the idea of doing a longer form um, piece of content. Now, I'm not saying something that like, I'm not saying make a really, really long video, um, but I want to experiment with um, taking one to two ish weeks to do a video and um, spend that amount of time researching and making it a little bit more um, dense, a little bit more uh, less, less just like whatever random thoughts are on my mind and more something that's uh, like much more thought out and uh, structured and put together. Uh, well, so um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've just been craving deep diving some topics a little bit more. Um, there's some, I have a lot of questions. I was making a list of things that I want to research, questions that I have that I want to answer via research. And it was an incredibly long list. And there's a lot of things on it that are just beyond the scope of what I can pull together in a day. For example, um, climate change is something that I'm really curious about. I have a lot of questions about but it's not something that we can just kind of casually talk about in a video. It's something that requires a lot more um, breadth and um, also like a lot more depth of research. So that's what I'm gonna be playing around with. I think I'm gonna take a two week hiatus after today and come back with something after that amount of time and we'll see what it is. I have a few different ideas, but um, yeah, I mean, it could be that this is something I experiment with for a few weeks and realize that it's really, really not my cup of tea. Um, but <laughs> if, if it is my cup of tea, then I guess I'm going to have to change the name of this uh, little channel anyway. So I guess we'll see. I always like to keep experimenting and not assume that I've hit on like the, the one thing that I'm going to keep doing indefinitely. Um, I like to follow those instincts where those, uh, those desires are, where those yearnings are. So if I have a yearning to really deep dive research hardcore into a particular topic, then instead of fighting off that impulse and saying, nope, the structure of my life doesn't work with that, I like to try to find a way to invite that in. It's, okay, why is this my impulse right now? Is there a way that I can honor this impulse? Because this is the, it's basically the creative impulse. It's those moments where you you have a gut feeling about something, you have a an insight about something, you have something that you're excited about, you're curious about. I think those are the things that are the most important to honor so that we don't get stuck doing the same things over and over and over again. So I try to pay attention to that in my, um, in my life in general, whether it's my work life or my creative life or, you know, my life on video with you guys here. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see how this route of exploration goes. So this will be my last video for a couple weeks, but I'll be back. I don't know with what, uh, it might be really boring. It might be overly complicated. It might be uh, something I scrap entirely, but, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. And I encourage you to just ask yourself a question as we wrap this up here. Is there anything that you're feeling curious about that's different than what you're already doing? So for example, if you're, I don't know, if you've been practicing piano, uh, I don't know why I'm gonna use this as an example, all of a sudden I have a bunch of my students quit piano, but if you have been practicing piano for a couple months and these last couple months, you've also been just like, obsessively listening to guitar music and watching guitar videos online, but you're like, no, I've already committed to piano. I don't want to do that. What's that impulse telling you? Is your heart in a different place? And is that something that is worth exploring? Where is your heart? Is there something um, that you feel resistance about in your life that you could change without too much uh, pain and hardship? So changing the format of this for you know temporary amounts of time it's a little annoying maybe but i don't think it's going to be any kind of pain and hardship so it's an easy little shift to honor the muse anyway just something i'm thinking about and i'll catch up with you guys i'm going to have my canadian thanksgiving as well so for those of you who are canadian happy holidays and i'll um, see you in a couple weeks